Right, my dear. So this is Jal Kumar Sen, and in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about few simple problems. Aptitude question has been asked in gate previous year paper. And to solve this type of problem, you don't need to have any, you know, any big approach or anything else. If you have started a little bit even in twelfth class, you can solve these questions quite easily. And I got this type of three question. I have seen more than five and six questions in gate previous year. Those can easily solved by using simple basic approach. Just like in this question, what we have given basically, if you'll see these numbers, you will get confused. But if you'll see with proper concentration and with an approach to the to solve the problem. Then things become quite easier for you. Let me share with you one thing. If you'll do like this, and uh, you will not look at this, and you will see this. Oh, this is really difficult. Oh, this much value, this much power. How could it be possible to find out? Even if you'll given a calculator, it's really it seems to be difficult. Okay, but yeah, I'm sharing with you how to solve this question. First of all, see the power. Third. Three, three, two, one, right? And see these two powers. The value is same on the base. All three values are same. So just add these two powers because uh, on the power we have to add. We cannot multiply. That is the basic approach. That's why I have shared with you. All these questions require basic, simple, basic approach. That's it. If you have simple, basic approach, then you can solve the question right away. So one, two, five, nine. Plus two zero six two. Sorry, two zero six two is equal to three three two one. The exactly power we have here. That means the approach I am sharing with you that is absolutely right. That is one point zero zero one whole to the power one two five nine multiple one point zero zero one. Two zero six two is equal to three point five two multiple seven point eight five. Now one point zero zero one one two five nine plus two zero six two is equal to that's three point five two seven point eight five is equal to twenty seven point six three. Okay. Now this will become. Three three two one two seven six three is the right answer. Okay, so can you tell me is there any big approach I have used? Simple basic concept I have used to solve this question. See, probably you can get this type of question in gate upcoming examination. So don't forget to solve this type of problem. I mean, it's a gift for you. You can say at least if you are getting one mark. Uh, for almost it's this is, this is a question for getting you know without any effort you can get this question I mean you can get uh, marks from this question quite easily okay so uh, the you can easily see and say that which one is the right option that is A A is the right option here now let's move to the next question the same question I mean the same type of question you don't need to have any big approach to solve it it's it to solve this question. Only required simple concept of logarithm. If you have simple approach of logarithmic and uh, natural log log, then you can solve this problem. Again, you need to pay attention. You have to be focus on the problem. Then only you can solve it. Right? Now, first of all, let me write all these relations. Log p is equal to half log q. Okay. So we can say that log p is equal to log q. So anti log from anti log we can say that one by two. One relation is this. Second relation is log p is equal to one by three log r. The same approach by using same approach we can write r to the power one by three. And the third relation I may say I can say. Half log q is equal to one third log r. Therefore, one by two, one by three. Okay. So these three 
relation I have written and from these three relation we can solve the problem quite easily okay so let me little bit simplify more that is we can say that this p square is equal to q we can say this p to the power sorry p to the power q is equal to r and here we can multiple with 6 both side then it will happen q q is equal to r square so these three relations can help us to find the right answer among these options now think i mean you have to choose one by one because you can create any relation here but you have to choose one by one suppose that we have given r is equal to p square q square so r is equal to p square q square is this possible let's see r is equal to pq so p square is equal to q that means p square into p so q pq this is possible so this is not possible that means just cross this option now let's move to here q square is equal to pr okay so uh, q square is equal to pr all right now what we have to do for getting q square i can square both the sides so q square is equal to p to the power 4 now p and relation between p and r pq into p pq is equal to r rp so q square is equal to pr or rp are you getting my point exactly you need to just simplify things up to the mark that's why you can understand it and you can then find out the right answer okay so this is all about you know your focus your attention your thinking level to solve at least this type of problem this is really simple i think so this is simple and i think this is simple for you even up i mean at least after watching this video right now let's move to the next uh, third number problem that's why you will have few more concepts in your mind always well this is a different one i mean all questions having uh, different different angle different different approach to solve it that's why even i am sharing with you right so in this question what we have given raju has 14 currency notes so most important thing is that because in the gate examination you have to sit online examination right so you need to have pen and you need to write down what exactly you are getting if you are writing gate examination first time if you have written couple of times that's okay you can go fast okay now so 14 currency notes is there in his pocket so total notes total notes is equal to 14 notes 20 rupees and 10 rupees notes they have that means 20 rupees and 10 rupees notes they have okay and what they said the total money value of the notes is total val money value of the notes is 230 rupees 230 rupees now think about it here we got all things now we have to find out what you require what the question is asking that is number of 10 rupees notes that raju has is the total number of 10 rupees notes we have right now if you will go and solve it then probably we will make mistake so we have to go through the options so let's get started from this option a okay so from option a if we we'll say 10 rupees note is 10 then 100 rupees plus 10 rupees already we have used 10 notes so we have only 4 notes remaining 4 20 80 so total currency 20 rupees so this is the wrong answer if you will go through 9 90 plus 9 9 uh, then remaining is 5 5 into 20 right then plus 100 so 190 are you getting my point are you getting my point what exactly i am saying that means this is also a wrong answer if we we'll say 6 60 plus remaining is 8 8 so 20 multiple 8 not 5 60 plus 8 200 
so 60 plus 200 is equal to 260 art uh, no what's 160 so 160 and 160 plus 60 220 this is the wrong answer now go for the number option fifth that is 50 plus 20 into how uh, what value have to multiple 9 that is 50 plus 180 that is is equal to 230 total number of currency 5 plus currency nodes 5 plus 9 is equal to 14 so all conditions are satisfied with the option D now one more thing one more tip I would like to show this is a trick right if you are solving question and till third option you said you found that no one is right and all these incorrect then don't need to solve for the option fourth just marks mark option fourth is the right answer in this way you can save little time right so uh, till now I have shared with you three problems and to solve all these three problems you don't require any almost any formula you just require basic approach I hope you understand some uh, understand about it and uh, hopefully you can do much better in the competition examination which is upcoming okay thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye